I want to update you about what the government is doing to make our country as safe and secure as possible. Events in Syria, Iraq and elsewhere and the rise of violent extremism have reminded us that our country is not isolated from potential threats. We've all seen the horrific images, the beheadings, the crucifixions and the mass executions. Appallingly, at least 60 Australians are known to be fighting with terrorist groups in Syria and Iraq and about 100 Australians are known to be funding or facilitating these groups. So the threat to our country from extremists is real and it's growing. But the government is responding. We're committing an additional $630 million over four years to counter terrorism measures. More resources are going to the Australian Federal Police to the Australian Security Intelligence Organisation, to the Australian Secret Intelligence Service, the Office of National Assessments and the Customs and Border Protection Service. Biometric screening is being installed at all our international airports. Border Force counter-terrorism units are already working at Sydney and Melbourne airports and will soon be rolled out at other international airports. These units will help to monitor national security watch lists. New national security laws will strengthen our ability to arrest and jail returning foreign fighters and prevent extremists from departing Australia. And we are strengthening our community engagement programs to prevent young Australians from becoming involved with extremist groups. I want to stress that these efforts are not directed against any particular community or religion. They're against terrorists and potential terrorists. In an increasingly uncertain world, this government is determined to keep our people safe and our country secure.